Hi, my name is Lauren. Welcome to the Falcon Report. Today we have an interview with Mr. Winterton, Kindergarten Letter of the Week, interview with Mrs. Jones, and special footage from Career Day. Now to Emily with Mr. Winterton. Hi, my name is Emily. Today I'm here with Mr. Winterton to interview him on lunch behavior. So, how do you want the kids to stand in the cafeteria? They need to be quiet. Okay, thank you. All right, what will happen if we run in the cafeteria? I send you back to your, um, the door or back to your classroom, don't I? Thank you. We will try our best to behave well. Now to Justin for Kindergarten Letter of the Week. Bye. Thank you. And we're here for the Letter of the Week. I. So what is the Letter of the Week? I. What sound does I make? I. What words start with I? I scream. Th good job. Thank Hi, you. I'm JC and I'm here with Ella and Miss Jones to interview her on snowballs. So what will happen if we throw a snowball? Well, JC, if you throw a snowball, you will have 10 recess detentions. Most schools have the same policy in place. Frequently for a recess detention, you will be cleaning around the building so that you're not sitting. Depending on what Mrs. Jones's schedule is, you will also be calling your parents to let them know why you have 10 recess detentions. Okay. Thank you. What will happen to your eyes if you get hit? Well, many of the snowballs around here have rocks because we have a lot of those little rocks on the playground and ice. And when a snowball hits the eye, you can become blind or at the very least have a great big swollen eye. That is why Mrs. Jones is very strict on snowballs. And so you don't want damage to your eyes just from throwing a snowball. And the truth is, when you throw one snowball and somebody gets hit, they usually get mad and want to throw a snowball back. So then before you know it, you have a snowball fight and lots of people get hurt. So I gotta turn the power on. I can get like three or four up here if they wanna. This is a cartridge. Inside this cartridge are two prongs. hooks, kind of like fish hooks. Like prongs. When I pull the trigger, gunpowder is in here and it shoots those hooks out with wires attached to them. Then those hooks stick in your body and then electricity comes. See how it's a nice wave there? Okay. And if I change the, the tone of the whistle, the announcements this for this week are report cards went home last week, so make sure you show your parents them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Ford. Don't do it, Mr. Not to. Watching that, you must be freezing. 